but consistently posting quality content on social media, specifically on YouTube, I've been able to generate hundreds of qualified sales calls, not only for myself, but for our clients as well. And these sales calls directly result in high ticket paying clients. For example, in the past 30 days alone, we did $7,000 cash collected strictly through YouTube. And the results are insane. Nico Hessel here signed a $4,000 deal paid in full through YouTube with only 300 subscribers. You can see his whole story and how we did that in the top right corner. And the results go on. We booked in nine calls in three days from YouTube and beyond the money and the sales calls, building a personal brand on YouTube that's very small at the moment, I only have 2,000 something subscribers, has allowed me to network with six and seven figure entrepreneurs and go and get in rooms I never thought I would get into. And the reason I'm showing you all the success around YouTube and social media is because these are the systems behind the success. These five AI automation systems are responsible for a lot of the success that I have personally gotten from my content. It's allowed me to increase the output of my videos without sacrificing the quality. It involves AI, automation, and it features a new software tool that has made this process super simple for me. So I'm really grateful for that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the software to build out these AI automated systems for content creation. Again, these have allowed me to collect tens of thousands of dollars from YouTube and social media alone build a small loyal following, allowed me to consistently upload for about a year now. You can check the receipts, go to my channel. I've been posting for a year straight. And these five AI automated systems are responsible for a lot of that consistency and quality in the videos I put out. So let's get right into this new software tool and the systems that have helped me book in qualified leads and make money through social media. And the new software tool I've been using for a lot of my automations in my company, guys, is Relay.app. I'm actually migrating a lot of automations over from other platforms because of the simplicity of relay.app. I am not a very technical guy. I don't know how to code. And if you're just getting into automations or you're maybe not as skilled to be on some other platforms, this is a very good place to start. Some of the systems I'm going to show you guys that are super powerful, that save me hours a week, that involve AI, automation, a bunch of different workflows were built in like 10 to 15 minutes. Like I built out some really powerful systems that I needed that I'm also going to go over in this video in about 10 to 15 minutes, which is super powerful. This is even more simple than make.com and simple is not bad, right? You don't need something overly complex. So this is competing with make.com for me right now. And it's much better than the Zapier because of the pricing plan as well. So really that app is what I'm using for now. Also because of the notion integration, which you'll see, they have a very in-depth connection with notion, which is where I have my content ideas, my systems, my SOPs, other processes. So really that app has been awesome for me. I'm going to dive into the software right now. We're going to start going over the five AI automation solutions you must have as content creators. Let's get into it. All right. So when you open the relay.app software, this is what you're going to see. If you want to follow along again, it's super simple to build out some of these systems, go ahead, sign up for a free account. And as I walk through this, you can sort of copy what I'm doing, but these are the five AI automation content creation systems. I use all the time to make high quality videos on YouTube that bring in sales for my company. All right. The one is the AI scripting bot that uses AI to script my YouTube videos. Two is the audience feedback automation using AI that takes audience feedback from my YouTube, turns it into content ideas, content ideation saver. Every single person needs a place and a system that's automated to save their content ideas and bring more content ideas with AI, which I'll show you first, probably. Repurpose YouTube videos to short form content. And then the thumbnail designer workflow to keep my editors, my thumbnail designers, all of us on the same page so I can increase the output on my videos while maintaining quality. So first, we're going to hop right into content ideation saver. One of the first ways to successfully post content is to actually have content ideas that work, that are organized in a manner that makes it easy to post. So this is what this workflow entails. One is the YouTube idea bank. This is where I house all of my video ideas. And this is sort of what this looks like. Just the title name, super simple, AI ideation, which we're about to go over, the priority and the status. So status, all of these are not started yet. If I were to start with them, I would say they're in progress. That means they're being made or filmed. And when they're done, I'll just put done and that will actually trigger another workflow that we'll go over later. Priority, this is super simple. I wanna make some videos before others, right? If there's a trend, if there's something I really wanna make, if there's something that the market needs, I'll make sure the priority is now, right? So for example, if I put this now, it'll pop towards the top. If I put this to, I wanna make it soon, it'll pop towards the bottom. Um, or, you know, it's a top five idea, I'll put it here. And it just organize it based on priority. I have hundreds of content ideas, guys, and you'll get to this point where you wanna make every single video under the sun. You have to have a system that organizes your thoughts. All right, and then finally, we have this fill out form. This is a free app that you can go ahead and use. It's just a form software, essentially, and it's free to use. The reason I use this, and I'm gonna go over the automation in a second, is because it's super easy to access. When I'm on my phone and I'm driving and I have a content idea, I can't just go in Notion, use my small fingers and type. I just wanna to go to a form that's saved in my notes, type in the idea, and then save it. And this is exactly how that works. So let's say, how to create a content strategy. 
I'm just going to lab label this test. I'm going to put the priority to, it's a top five video. I want to make it relatively soon. I'm going to submit this. And what it's going to do is trigger this workflow. All right. So when the new form is submitted, as you can see here with the Relay app, it goes to ChatGPT. I have a prompt and then ChatGPT will spit this out into the YouTube idea bank. That's a very brief summary. And as you can see, it works almost instantly, guys. And I love this because it's triggered on the submission. So you're not overusing credits that Relay.app provides for your plan. Every single time this is triggered, that is when the automation runs, which is really, really cool. So as you can see here, it puts the title name where it's supposed to go. And then AI ideation, this is the prompt I had. I'll go to the prompt for you guys right now so you guys can copy it if you would like to. Basically, I say you'll receive a content idea for my YouTube channel that's focused on XYZ. This is what we do. Make sure that you output your answer in this format. Again, you can copy this if you want to and make it your own and make it hyper personalized. But as you can see, it puts the actual content idea in there and then it gives me two other content ideas off of that. So if I'm on the run, I'm going grocery shopping and I can just fill out this form really quickly. It will automatically put it into my YouTube idea bank and then give me two other titles that go along with it. And as you can see, it also put top five here as well. So that is exactly sort of how we want to make sure we're structured as a content creator. We want to make sure that we're organized and stuff is automated so you don't have to be all over the place because if you have hundreds of ideas, you're going to lose your mind. So that is the first AI automation content creation system you can and should be implementing. It organizes all of your thoughts, especially when you're on the run, it uses AI to come up with other ideas you might not have thought of, and it organizes the videos in priority of when you should make them. So that is the first system. The second one we're going to be going over is actually scripting out these YouTube videos. This is a huge pain point for a lot of people, and this is really cool because it's all in Notion. You don't need the fill out form. It all happens in Notion, and let's get right into the demo of how it works. So um, this is just a test here, but let's just say, this content creation system will save you 100 hours a month. All right, we're gonna hit enter. And just because I have this trigger set for every 15 minutes, I'm just gonna hit refresh. I'm gonna let the automation run, check the Notion page for updates, which I just updated it. And now it's gonna do the automation. All right, I'm gonna show you the prompt in a second. Let's check the output of what we get. Boom, this is exactly what we get. And again, it's all in Notion. That's why I love it so much. I just type here and then every 15 minutes it will trigger and it will output what exactly what I want to output. So this is exactly what it outputted here. It has the intro, it has the bullet points, and it has the outro. That's exactly how I set up the prompt. And again, this is not optimized exactly for a well-working YouTube video yet. We're still working on that and the prompt that goes behind that because it's not like a simple prompt. So this is how the automation works. And again, it's super, super simple. If you have any questions, just let me know. This is a high-level overview. So we are in the AI scripting bot database. This is a database on Notion. And it checks for the content field. It checks for changes in the content idea field, right? Which I changed. And when I change that, you can see it prompts this. And this is the prompt. This is the prompt that I give it. I want you to write a brief structure, intro, body, outro. And this is sort of more in detail. I want the intro to match expectations of the video, the body to give three bullet points, the outro to give a solid call to action. And that's exactly what it does, guys. All right, obviously it's not formatted correctly, but again, this is a very simple prompt to start off with. And you could customize this based on your channel. And as prompting gets better, and as these large language models get better, you could literally script a whole video using this system, which is insane. And then finally, I just have the page be updated, right? So I tell it, okay, once you have the output, put it back into the page and put it into the output section. That is easy, guys. That is a very easy automation using AI to set up. And again, it's super powerful. So that is the second automation. It's using the AI scripting bot to take constant ideas and turn them into working YouTube scripts. And again, you can combine the two where the content ideation system saves a video and then it triggers this that actually writes the script for you instantly. I have a human in the loop there, which Relay app is also good at. If you want a video on that, let me know. I like to check the ideas, validate them when I'm in clear thought, and then I'll put them into this system that scripts up the video for me. So that is the second automation we will go over today. All right, guys, the third AI automated system is one of my favorites. It's the audience feedback automation. You have to recognize how important audience feedback is as content creators. If someone posts on my channel and asks me for a specific video or a specific breakdown or has a question, those are literally the topics that you should be covering in the next few videos. The audience is literally telling you what to do and they will buy from you. They might not pay in money, but they will pay with their attention and watch that next video, which is good for us all around. The more people watch our content, the more likely they are to buy from us in the future. And this is how this automation works. It takes feedback from our YouTube channel and gives us content ideas. They're hyper-targeted and very accurate. So this is exactly how this system works. So we have the Notion database right here called YouTube Audience Feedback. And then I've pulled some videos that have questions. So these guys had questions here. I'm just going to enter them into the Notion document. Boom, boom, boom. How to create an AI avatar. Cool. 
And then finally, this guy had a question that's pretty accurate about, can I make a video about an AI appointment setter, right? Now, once I put all of these into the Notion document, I'm just going to make sure that this runs. And while this running, I want to explain that the YouTube to Notion is not automated yet. You would need API access and do a bunch of other automations in the background. But if you want to go down that route, you can definitely automate the YouTube comments into Notion and just have this whole system run on autopilot. I personally like going through the comments, copy and pasting like I just did and pasting them in Notion just to get quality there. But regardless, you could do either or. This is going to be a more simple version where we're entering the comments manually into Notion. But then as this should run, boom, we get content ideas off of these comments. So these comments here and this comment here turn into highly relatable titles for my next videos. So is this no code or low code? Understanding no code versus low code and AI automation for businesses. Boom, that's an amazing title. This is also an amazing title. How to use an AI appointment center on high level for your business, right? So it turns this guy's question into a video for me to make. And then going one step further, we just went over the AI scripting bot. You could take this, put this into the AI scripting bot and it'll write you a script. And that could be automated as well. So you could literally take it from comment to title to script. Again, I'm breaking it up for simplicity purposes. So you guys could mix and match these systems as you need it. But this one is huge. and something I actually use to take feedback from my content and turn it into content ideas. Again, going further, you could do a bunch of other stuff. But that is the third AI automation system. It's the audience feedback automation. Next, we're going to cover this one, which is probably my favorite. It's the, it's the repurposing YouTube videos to short form content automated system. This one is super powerful. I'm going to break down how it works right now. This automation is super important because as content creators, we want more eyeballs. Eyeballs equal leads, which equals sales calls, which equals money. So taking YouTube videos, which should be your pillar platform, your pillar platform is like your main platform. You want to take your main platform and repurpose it. YouTube should be your main platform. It's the best platform for leads. It's the best platform for booking and sales calls by far. You take YouTube, now we want to repurpose to other places, specifically in this example, it'd be short form. So TikTok, Instagram Reels, stuff like that to get more eyeballs. More eyeballs is more money, guys. So leveraging something you've already created, being a YouTube video and turning it into other social media content and posts is a massive leverage to play. And this system helps me do it. So again, right now we have the YouTube idea bank, which came up earlier. Again, we use the scripting automation for this. And now we have something new called the short form content, which is SFC repurposing from YouTube database. And then we have Slack, which is a, a communication platform, which we haven't used yet. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. So let's go ahead and cover how this is different. So we didn't touch on status. So the status of the content idea is essentially where we are in the process of filming, creating and posting this video. For example, if it's not started, I haven't started on the video. If it's in progress, the video is in progress. I'm either filming, editing or creating the resource for it. And when it's done, which is what triggers the automation, the video is done, it's posted. So I'm going to hit done right here. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh the automation. And using this system, it's going to take this done YouTube video that was posted, it's going to put it into this database, and then send me a slack message saying, Hey, this YouTube video is posted, it needs to be repurposed. Let's see if it worked here. Boom, this YouTube video, how to book 30 sales calls with YouTube goes right to here. And I could tag my editor saying, Hey, this new video has to be split up and it has to be posted. Again, you could go further. This is bare bones. You could do many more automations on top of this and actually use AI to repurpose some of it. But this is just for organizational purposes. So it tells me that, Hey, this is ready to be repurposed. I can tag my editor. And if I get lost in the sauce a little bit, I get a Slack message, which is really, really cool. So it says, Hey, repurpose this YouTube video to short form, repurpose it here. And if I pull this up, this is going to be the exact same thing as this, um, just so I can stay organized. So how to book 30 sales calls with YouTube. And then again, you could add content down here. You could tag an editor. You could do so much more. Um, but this and this are the same thing, just in different views on Notion, if you're not familiar with it. So that is a really, really cool platform. As soon as a video is done, and it's posted. I turn it to done. It gets automatically put into this database. I could tag my editor and I get a message along the way saying, hey, this needs to be repurposed. Let's you know expand our reach because you posted this YouTube video. Let's turn it to other stuff. So that is a super leveraged way to get more sales. Like I encourage everyone to take your YouTube videos or take your main platform and repurpose. And the reason YouTube is the best is because you're repurposing down. Long form is as much effort as it gets. Everything under that is less effort. Short form is less effort and then written content is less, less effort. So you want to take long form, repurpose it down the chain and then just collect all those extra eyeballs opposed to someone that's not repurposing their content. So this is another huge AI automated system that I use a lot to attract more business. And now we're booking in about a sales call a day through YouTube and then repurposing to other platform as well. Finally, we're going to go to the thumbnail designer automation, which is slept on. You have to have something like this in place. And again, it uses Slack and Notion. I'm going to dive into that right now. All right, guys, this is the last but not least 
AI automated system you need. This is very slept on because it saves you time and time is very important as we run our companies. And this is the thumbnail automation. This is also applicable for video editors, VAs, appointment setters, basically anyone on your team. It's using Relay App, Notion, and Slack as well. Before I had this in place, I just had one long chat with my video editors and, and my team, basically and my thumbnail designer. And it was a mess because I started making more content, which is more thumbnails for myself. And now we're doing all of our thumbnails for our clients as well. So we're making, you know, 10, 20 thumbnails a week. So this system allows us to stay organized and it can obviously be better, but this is exactly how it works using the Relay app. So I'm gonna actually really quickly, let me just break down how simple this actually is. So all it is, is it's triggering when the status of the thumbnail is set to Shaz has to review. So Shaz has to review, there's two thumbnails there right now. You'll see that in a second. And when that happens and when something is under that status, it just sends me a Slack message. It's that simple, but there's nothing like this in Notion natively built out. So Relay app helps me automate this process. So I don't have to go in Notion and check it out. I just get a simple message saying, hey, check the thumbnail, give some, get some reviews to the thumbnail editor so he can finish up uh, his work, right? It's super, super simple. And I'm actually just gonna start a test run of this because my thumbnail designer is actually in here and doing some work. I don't wanna mess with uh, his flow too much, but I'm gonna go to here to start test run. As you can see, Shaz has to review. There's two different titles there. And there's two different titles here. I'm just going to test mine right now. I'm going to create test run. It's going to do its thing. I'm going to start the test run. This is really cool. I love Relay App again. Super simple to work with. And go back to the workflow. You can see that it actually did the automation. Nothing changes here, right? All this is doing is internally notifying me. Hey, check thumbnail, right? So it's that easy. And again, you could link the thumbnail. You could link more stuff. Uh, you could add it for every single step along the way. But again, it just organizes everything in Slack rather than Notion because Notion doesn't have the infrastructure for that. And Slack is much easier to do. All right, and that's how the thumbnail automated system works. It saves us all time. My thumbnail editor doesn't have to DM me on Discord and say, hey, hey man, check the thumbnail. And I don't have to DM him back saying, okay, I'm checking it. Everything is organized in this Notion document. Everyone gets Slack messages along the way and it keeps us all on the same page without much communication, right? Because as a business owner, you have to be super protective of your time and sending messages to your thumbnail editor telling them stuff manually is not the move. Set this up, it takes 10 minutes. Uh, you can save a bunch of time every single day, which compounds over time. These were the five AI automated systems. I highly recommend that you implement. If you have any questions, just let me know. I highly recommend a Relay app as well. Go ahead and sign up for it down below. I believe they have an awesome free plan and their pay plan is super competitive as well, especially for what you get. And especially if you're using Notion, which I use every single day. So guys, that is all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you want more tutorials on the Relay app, also let me know. I'm gonna be building in here constantly as they roll out new features and new integrations. So I will talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video.